Tonight, the Charlotte community is showing its support for one of the owners of Brooks Sandwich Shop in No Doubt. He was shot and killed yesterday morning while opening up for the day. Today, the community and some of Scott Brooks' family members gathered to remember him, all of them still shocked by this tragedy. It's going to be really hard coming here and not working with him anymore. And He's a good man. Our Glenn Counts is live for us tonight in Noda. He went to the vigil at the sandwich shop. And Glenn, many people still have a lot of questions about this right now. Well, Erica, as you uh, might imagine, it was quite the emotional evening here. So many people just came up wanting to give this family a hug to and try and help them cope with this absolutely senseless crime. This is how Noda remembered an old friend, a husband, father, son, and businessman. How do you grieve? How do you grieve? There's so many questions. Um, it's, it's hard. Police say that Scott Brooks was gunned down around 5 a.m. yesterday morning while opening up his sandwich shop. One look at this large crowd tells you that Brooks had a connection to his community that could only be explained by one word, love. His mother was your Sunday school teacher? Back in the 60s. Wow. At Matthews Baptist Church. Wow. So I grew up with the twins. Scott's twin brother Dave and other family members attended the vigil. As tough as the past 24 hours have been for this family, it's not tough enough to beat them. My heart's broken. But my spirit's not broken. I see who's turned out tonight, and I appreciate all you. We are going to be back. Thank you so much for your support, guys. I love you. It's going to be really hard coming here and not working with him anymore. And He's a good man. Three family members who were not able to come are Scott's mother, his wife, and his 12-year-old son. We want to let them know that we are thinking about them and that we love them and and uh, um, we, we wish they were here, but we understand why it's going to be difficult. And Well, tonight there is no word on when Brooks will reopen. The uh, brother is dealing with some back issues, so it could be a couple of months, but uh, I suspect they'll have plenty of customers when they do. Erica? And Glenn, I know a lot of people want to know if there's any update on the investigation into who killed Scott Brooks. Well, Erica, uh, police have made uh, some progress, obviously not as much as they would like. Uh, we believe that they're looking for more than one suspect, and apparently some of this was captured on surveillance video, but that video, we're told, is a very poor quality, so it's not of much use.